Pasta is one of Italy's gifts to the world. There are more than 300 types of pasta noodles and more than 1,000 recipes for pasta dishes. How did this delicious food become so popular? The history of Italian pasta starts in ancient Rome. According to a legend, the gods invented a machine that turned dough into strings, similar to spaghetti. During ancient times, people prepared thin sheets of dough and then fried the dough in oil or baked it in an oven. Some recipes included vegetables and spices. Others were made with meat. In ancient times, many ships departed from harbors along the Mediterranean Sea. Dried pasta was the perfect food to bring on ships because it is easy to cook and never expires. Pasta was usually eaten without a sauce, and people ate pasta with their hands. By the 1700s, Naples was the capital of pasta production. All over Italy, different pastas became popular. Spaghetti, macaroni, ravioli, and vermicelli. Today, Italy produces 3.5 million kilograms of dried pasta every year. The average Italian eats 30 kilograms of pasta per year. Cookies are undoubtedly one of the most beloved treats. Have you ever wondered how cookies came to be. Cookies date back to the 7th century Persia, one of the first countries to cultivate and harvest sugar cane. They were a type of small cake. Bakers would drop small amounts of cake batter into pans to test the oven's temperature before baking. When the Muslims undertook the conquest of Spain, cookies spread throughout Europe. By the 14th century, cookies had become popular throughout the continent, with early versions resembling small cakes or pastries. Cookies were brought to the United States by the Dutch in 1620. European cookie recipes were adapted to suit the available ingredients and American tastes. Early American versions of cookies tended to be soft and cake-like, unlike the crispier cookies that are popular today. All the sugar consumed in Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries came from American sugarcane plantations. Until the 19th century, cookies were a treat restricted to the wealthy. The industrial production of cookies began in the 20th century, when Kraft, Nestle, and other large cookie companies appeared. In the 1930s, Ruth Graves Wakefield of Massachusetts invented the first chocolate chip cookie. She named them Toll House Chocolate Crunch Cookies. Today, cookies remain a popular snack around the world. They come in many forms, from chocolate chip to oatmeal raisin and sugar cookies. Whether bought at a store 
or homemade. They will surely satisfy any sweet tooth. There is an old saying: Everyone has two countries, their own, and France. From the magical streets of Paris to the countryside, France has enchanted visitors with its beautiful landscapes and exquisite cuisine. French cooking is much more than combining ingredients, and is an art that few master. How about becoming a French cuisine connoisseur? Learning more about these five French foods can be a good start. France's most famous soup is simple and full of flavor. The soup à l'oignon, onion soup. Is made of beef broth and caramelized onions, topped with crispy croutons and grilled cheese. The origins of the modern soup à l'oignon can be traced back to 18th-century France, although similar dishes have been known since the Middle Ages. Legend has it that onion soup. Was first prepared by King Louis the Fifteenth, who returned hungry from hunting, and found nothing else in his lodge but onions, champagne, and butter. Another must-try French dish is bœuf bourguignon, a beef stew braised in red wine, often Burgundy, and beef broth, seasoned with potatoes. Carrots, garlic, pearl onions, mushrooms, and bouquet garni, a bundle of herbs including thyme, bay leaf, and parsley. Bœuf bourguignon originated as a peasant dish in the Burgundy region, famous for its fine wine. Although similar recipes have been known since medieval times. The dish became popular after the legendary chef Auguste Escoffier, known in France as the King of Chefs, published the recipe in 1903. Korean barbecue is famous around the world, known locally as gogi gui, literally meat roast. It is a unique social and dining experience that combines cooking and eating. Korean barbecue refers to the Korean method of grilling beef, pork, chicken, or other types of meat right at the dining table. Korean barbecue restaurants have grills built into the tables. Meat is served raw, and diners grill them themselves. One of the most popular meats is bulgogi, thinly sliced beef, marinated in soy sauce, sugar, and sesame oil. Restaurants offer a wide variety of meats, like kalbi, slightly sweet marinated beef short ribs. And spicy pork, or chicken thighs. Korean barbecue is served alongside side dishes, called banchan. As soon as you arrive, the waiter or waitress will serve you a pile of small dishes, filled with bite-sized portions of food. One classic dish is kimchi. Made from salted and fermented vegetables, seasoned with spices. Napa cabbage and radish commonly appear in kimchi. Other side dishes include marinated cucumbers, seaweed salad, and bean sprouts. Korean barbecue is accompanied by samjang sauce. Made from red chili pepper paste, fermented soybean paste, 
and other seasonings. Why you can eat the meat straight from the grill? The tradition is to dip it in samjang sauce, and then wrap it in lettuce or perilla leaves. Grab a lettuce leaf, add a piece of meat and your favorite sides, wrap it up, and enjoy.